guys. Welcome to the Jerry's Live after party. Mm -hmm. You've you've been watching watercolor. Oh well, hopefully you were watching the watercolor pencils and sticks episode, and we drug Mike back in to to showcase feature all of these luxurious items. I love watercolor, so I'm. Interested. But do you love pencils? I don't love pencils well, nor pastels. So we're gonna change that. Okay, well let's hope let's hope so. <laughs> or this I mean, is that's gonna go goal. really wrong really quick. Yeah, and it could. And it could. Well, anything <laughs> that I'm in, yeah. Okay, so let's get right into it because because you've just listened to probably uh, oh, yeah. ninety minutes a worth of at least. Yeah, because Jerry's live is supposed to be an hour, but somehow we we turn into three hours. That's just incredible. It's but it's the interaction. We're glad to have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And feel free to leave your comments and questions below, and Amy will answer them. <laughs> okay, throw me under that artistic bus. Let's get it started. All right. Well, we're going to kind of more or less reasonably in a in a processional manner go from kind of the lower end, kind of the intro, uh, you know, some people call it the student grade, but with these, it's just, it's not so much student grade, it's it's kind of what are you wanting to do with these? That's the best way to judge. If you're just gonna be doing journaling, you just want some pops of color, you just want something that you can either use dry or wet, you know, this is kind of where we're going to start. The right? seedy underground the of colored pencils. The seedy underbelly. Watercolor, yeah. yes. And then we're going to progressively move forward, and then we'll kind of end with maybe some of the water-soluble oil pastels, Ooh. the sticks, um, and then straight up watercolor sticks. What? Just, it's like a, a stick of watercolor. It's like a pan, but in a stick, in and a it's stick watercolor. Okay, yes. Cool. So, and, and we'll talk very briefly about, I, I, just so we've got in the 4K, some of the watercolor grounds where you could take this type of stuff it, not be limited to paper only. Mm -hmm. We could actually put it on panels where you could, you know, use um, spray varnish and be able to actually show them more like a painting. Right. So for people that do mixed media, it gives them even, you know, more options for, for their work. And just so that you guys know, I will be working on a cold press paper and Amy mm -hmm. here has got hot press. So that's the smooth versus a slightly smooth. toothier texture. Yeah, just so they can kind of see the difference because not all of them are gonna have, you know, pick up nice yeah all right well we will start with there's a lot of stuff the under this table. there is because well, there's a lot a lot of boxes yeah. contain these and it's like way more packing than all right so so this is the this is uh the raffinade what we're going to do is if you can just grab three or four colors really put like a harder line dark kind of scribble and then some lighter so we can see what the, really the the true test of these pencils and what it's going to be able to do for you is kind of the color and the saturation. So nice bright colors, that's good. Um, and kind of um, maybe just write raffiné under it. So if, if we want to go back and kind of compare as we're talking, we, we know which is which. All right, let's spell raffiné for everybody. R-A-F-F-I-N-E. Is there well, no... We're, we're spelling uh, it for Mike. Is there no accent or... <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, no, I'm sorry. Look, it's it's just not as embossed as strongly. So, oh, okay. yes. Rafine. Yeah. All right, so do you want me to mix these or just put them... No, 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 just, just solid. We're not going to worry about mixing them. And that's... This is kind of the beauty of watercolor pencils versus... Um, versus colored pencils. With colored pencils, you can layer to blend, but if you don't have all the colors, you're not going to be able to just get, you know, a very specific green by layering you know yellows and blues together with watercolor pencils because once you put the water on them they're suddenly water soluble and can mix like a watercolor then you've got that ability so it, it does change it up and most people may not consider that so heavy pressure or light pressure oh i wasn't listening i just did <laughs> okay light it's okay pressure. it's okay to do bigger color areas this is this is where you can let loose I'm, this is my life I'm giving pressure. you free reign really are you sure you want to do I, that I probably will retract that but yes why not it's it's actually Monday and I'm very caffeinated so I think it's Tuesday gonna, yeah it's Tuesday somewhere tomorrow <laughs> okay Okay, and part of the reason I'm putting so much pressure on them is I want people to be able to see some are very dry and crumbly, others aren't. So you can see with mine. That was a lot more economic. <laughs> well, it's just I want people to be able to see because when the color blooms, it just like really. Sure. So, all right. 
Okay, so um, pick a brush. I uh, like these. You don't like them, but I like them. Because I like convenience. I like the water to flow through my bristles. Which is not happening. It's just, you just like, it's just short attention span theater brush. You like that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice. It came out, Amy. All right. Well, is it a boy or a girl? There. It's a boy. Okay. All right. So just go ahead and wet your, you know, heavier, Whistle. heavier stuff first and then go into the lighter. And don't really sc sc <laughs> don't scrub a lot. Just kind of go over it because some some brands you really have to scrub to get the color to lift and others you do not so I want people to be able to kind of tell because if they really have to mess with it and play with it you can start kind of scrubbing the paper away by having to really work it to lift that pigment that might not be what they want to do especially if they're using paper pulp paper we're using cotton paper just because that's by default that's always going to be paper pulp bet. paper yeah Okay. Now, from, from having used multiple brands of this, it's actually, these are pretty saturated. Yeah. I mean, the color is, is darker than it's applied, which is gonna happen with all watercolor pencils. That's kind of the one thing. The few brands that really do look dry, like they look, you know, wet, mm -hmm. I don't <clears throat> feel like have as much color pop, so. So for the, for the, these are actually a really great value, in my opinion, in that it, it's got a lot, it's, this would be perfect for journaling. Nice bright color pop, you know, very easy. I mean, that's yeah. nice. So that's why, and that's why I wanted to label these so that we know as we're going along, look, that's actually a really great value sure. for the, for the price. So, but you know, they don't come any, any larger than 36. So it's going to kind of limit your palette. That's why it's great for journaling yeah. or, you know, just carrying with you. All right, um, now this one, we're featuring, they don't really make, <laughs> no, okay. When we've talked about doing your daily journal, is that not like the perfect thing to carry with a tiny little sketchbook? A tiny little sketchbook. It's 12. in a nice tin, it fits in your pocket. <gasps> this, this is a, they don't <laughs> make these larger than this, but it's, I wanted to show it because if you get, you're gonna do either just very basic journaling or have a sketchbook that you want to take with you rather than having to take watercolors. It's a great, I mean, it fits right in your pocket. It's very small, but you've got 12 colors to be able to just quickly colorize something. You can have it afterwards. Even. I'll, oh, are, I'll let are, you are we it. using it? Yeah. Don't you think we want to see what it looks like? If well, it was in my people pants. don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, so pick a color. Yeah. Do a couple of them. Okay. I'm just, gonna... just write the Dale Rowney under it. Yeah. Go bigger. Okay. All right. Daler. Wow, they're really smooth. They are. And then remember to do kind of a lighter. And you've got to work a little bit harder because you've got the texture to fill there. Yeah. Oh, this is a lot of work. Don't make fun of my sample size. Okay. I need some yellow. true to color. All right, I'll be the judge of that. I don't know why. You'll be able to see better at least. <laughs> yeah. It's an improvement. Okay. So don't scrub. Yeah, just kind of brush it across so that you can see that, you know, how, wh whether it's activating very quickly, it's a really deep and bright, or whether you're really having to, with that paper. Yeah, well, it's that, actually that, pretty. It's doing pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, we may need to we may need to force you into using a regular brush. Yeah, I was thinking that. But I was hoping you wouldn't say it. Mm. But yeah. Oh, I'm, you I, know me. I'm going to switch to regular <laughs> I'm brush. I'm going to tell you. After this. And then the yellow comes alive. 
See, that's uh, for for what these are. <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed. They're pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's not that's not bad at all. Okay, switch and turn. So, you know, just just an idea. If, if you're not wanting to do a whole hog on this, but whole hog. Yeah, I mean, you're Michigan not from the Midwest. Girl. You've never heard that. Michigan girl. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's actually a Missouri term. So. Yeah, but you're yeah. not from Missouri. I, I lived in Missouri about seven years. We've just so. met. <laughs> All right, so this is the Statler. These are actually watercolor crayons. Let's put these over with these the crayons. <laughs> you don't get to see the Statler. No, no. We've, oh. We've, oh, we have a we're different just switching Statler. Statlers, yes. Now, brands make multiple styles, some of them. So this is. The Statler carrot. So just write down carrot. K A R A T. Like, okay. like diamonds. Carrot. I'm gonna go carrot. With this. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. All right. Oh, let's yeah. see. This is peachy. I'm just gonna do greens. Cause they're there. It's just if I put an E, is it karate? <laughs> Only if you. Say it that way. These, these feel Kata. a little firmer, maybe, than the uh, yes. Daler ones that mm -hmm. we just did. Oh, I think so too. Yes, they're not. They, it's harder. You have to really push hard to get it to kind of spread into the. Yeah, I'm pushing hard. Now I'm going to be singing salt and pepper. Let's push it. Push it. Push it real push it real good all right pitch 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 oh that's cold amy what the oh <laughs> <laughs> your cold wet brush on my arm <laughs> oh Kind of dusty. Oh wow! I would not have expected that to be that bright. All right. Well, now I'm excited. Hold on. Here, we'll put it over here so we don't. <laughs> Get that out of the way. All right. Let's take this. This time I'm not messing around. Ooh. That's really bright. It is. Yeah. Picks up really well. You really don't have to apply it as, as hard as no as the other ones to get the same amount of color. Now it does look like because it's drier, like you were saying, it, it really grinds more into the surface than the other ones did. So mm -hmm. that could potentially be a problem if you don't want that kind of stippled effect of the right. of the texture and the paper. Um, and you can kind of see the same in this. You can see the lines still a little bit better. Okay. So that's the Statler. Let's try. Freezing the color. Yes. Now they do come in a larger size, but they were currently out. So we're going to use this one. So um, here, just grab, a, you want that tray? I want this one. Go right ahead. Thank you. Now this, <laughs> Prismacolor is my nemesis. I know. And, and the issue is, when you open up the pencils, none of them are in any order. Right. So the OCD in me has to first straighten them all. And... Time consuming. See, it's a good thing I didn't see it before this. These already feel softer. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and the, the way they sharpen them just kind of almost need to resharpen them to get. Yeah. It's a nub. I got nubbing on this. <sighs> oh, colors. It is pretty dry though, because look at it's yours is really crumbly on the paper yep. where it's dusting up real bad. Yeah.
it lifts pretty well. It just doesn't seem like this. Oh, well, okay, maybe I take that back. I'll see if the saturation didn't seem like it was there as much, but I think it depends. I think, well, the, I've noticed in using these over the weekend, just kind of trying some different artworks so we'd have it for the show. Um, the ones that, that probably have titanium white in right. them yeah. tend to not, like, look at how that didn't really pop. That didn't change a lot. Right. Um, where that obviously doesn't have it. It's yeah. very strong. Oh, yeah, and you picked very light colors, so the turquoise looks like it probably has a lot less. Right. Where the others didn't lift as much. So that's something to, to just to be aware of when you're using these is that that's, the lighter colors are going to tend to not give you as much brightness. Okay. okay. So then we're going to go to, it's like endless, isn't it? There's it is. so many of them when you start looking at it. So this is just creative colors. The nice thing about their tins don't like pop open when you're walking around with them, right. but then you're wrestling them open. These are the merino ones. Merino. So just write maybe Miami Dolphins. Color merino. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's, sadly, that's where I went. I'm really, is that sports? How do you know that? <laughs> I watch sports. <laughs> How do you spell Marino? <laughs> like Marine, but with an O. Oh. <laughs> Marino. I'm, okay, I'm a little Marino myself. <laughs> yeah. You're something, that's for sure. No, don't write the word in yellow. It's Amy. harder to get like as much kind of pressure with these yeah these thick. are a little drier yeah which which okay I've got hot press paper so it's more difficult anyway because it doesn't have the texture but still don't blame not. the paper don't believe hype I have noticed you have to dust away the yep those because when you go to wet it otherwise suddenly there's other little color chips in there and it'll whoa now that yellow is uh Surprisingly bright. Okay. You missed well. Oh, that! Look at that! Now that's wow. I thought that's this definitely phthalo right there. That's a phthalo. So very staining, intense colors. Now, something I just noticed with this, if I sweep over the darker part, it already lifts it and makes it kind of go away. So it's not as concentrated. As what? It just, it picks up like it's not, some of these lifted less, like. Oh, I see. Maintained into the paper a little bit easier. Okay. So, all right, uh, then can you grab the next? Credit color? Is that, oh, that's the monolith. Kind of push that that way. That's a okay. little block. All right, so we're going to switch up to Derwent. Derwent. Okay. This is, they've got the, the watercolor and then the ink tents, which mm -hmm. is going to be really the brighter of the two. Let me put these over here. I don't really like to this. All right. Um, now we've got this, and then we've got the metallics. I think I'm just going to show the color chart of the metallics because I think it's just easier to rather than us have to see how nice and metallic the color is here but then when you wet it down you lose the so i think you would want to with the metallics keep it dry to enhance it, but don't it don't expect to pop a color no because you... because the pigment that's in it to make it kind of comes up in the... yes comes up in that so it doesn't really do as much for it okay. wet as you, you would expect it's a watercolor pencil so wet it's gonna be metallic but it I found that it really did not so all right all right so let's give these, these bad boys a try mm -hmm. that one's not sharp yeah that's because I did a color chart with them no uh, oh, you're, we're scrubbing it's not like we need them to be you know okay so if you want and you can use a sh I'll let you use a sharpener thank you
Okay, these are soft and crummy. Yep. <laughs> crum, crum, crum. You know what I mean. Crummy or crumbly? No, it does. It does feel very different, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I've never felt something so soft and crumbly at the same time. I know. Yeah. It's I agree. Like, it's like fine cheese. I agree. Well, look at this. Just on on mine, with without the grit to pick it up, it just really. very dry very very dry isn't it it is like where it's uncomfortably weird by comparison to the other ones yeah Now, Amy, why do you think these are such high quality? <laughs> I I don't like this on the hot press. You don't like it on the what hot do you press? Think? Um, the indigo-ish color came out kind of nice, but um, I don't know. The the other two are not necessarily popping any more mm -hmm. than anything else. And it doesn't seem like it's picking up out of the paper very well. It's still got a lot of texture. I right. noticed that with the with the color swatches. You're very observant. All right. So we're going to go, you know what, we'll save the ink tents for after I the like paper. the ink tents. Yeah, that's, it's very, okay. So now we've got, we can use one of two things. Okay. We've got the, the Magnus, which is. <sighs> Look how big and thick the those big are. The big fatty ones. So it's like a lot of nice color. Or then there's the full, it's the same pencil. It's right, just, just one's thick. It's just, you know, you've got the larger set of that. You want the, those are probably easier to use for what we're doing, right? <laughs> because I'm like a child. I need yeah. big, now these are big crayons. Yeah. Um, okay. You can hold it like this too. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. So we just need to put, you can just put F dash C Magnus on there so that we know that's the Faber, but we used the F. Dash C, how do you spell Magnus? M A G N U S. Oh, wow. Okay, these that are. feels very different, doesn't it? Than yeah. The other one. It's less crumbly. It's a little less crummy, it... and it's. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, we have a difference of opinion. Crumbly. Crummy. <laughs> And, but it's so he's, soft. He's not meaning like crappy as crummy. He no, thinks, I mean. He thinks crummy yeah. means crumbly. I never mean. learned how to read. Okay. <laughs> so don't, don't make fun of me. I don't me. think it's the reading that's the problem. <laughs> oh, you know I love you. I know. That's why you get away with that. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd have you put down. <laughs> Humanely, I would hope. Humanely, yes. You think. We're all about that here. <laughs> We're all about humanely putting people down. <laughs> We're all Jerry's kids. Yep. <laughs> now they are drier because that it is really pretty dusty. Yeah. Oh, I really like this color. Oh, it's, it's nice, like a just fuchsia. Very nice. Magenta. Now with. The Faber pencils, they have their light fastness ratings on them. Now that's something that you need to, we, we've said it on the show, but I'm going to reiterate, if you're looking to do this and use this as fine art, you probably want to use a brand that has light fastness ratings on it. See the little stars yep. on the back where the color is? I don't know if you're going to be able to pick that up, but I'll point to it anyway. Because then if Three you're looking stars. for very true archival colors that are going to be able to you know, stand up over time, just like with your watercolors, know your light fastness ratings, people. I'm just pointing at it. Well. well, it's just it's so tiny. I want them to get, want them to get tight. Tiny, tiny print tiny, tiny. on a giant pencil. Let's see what this does. I'm anxious. Okay, that that made it pop. Yeah. Wow. Definitely brighter than the. Actually, paper, this isn't it? as oh, I'm wow. wetting it, it feels smoother. Yes. Um, oh, look at that. To the uh, oh, you just outdid me. Oh, that's nice. Must have been a nice cobalt. 
this is like wow. really water mm -hmm. soluble and yes it's um it picks you don't you don't need to be laying the pencils down as hard as we are to to pick up the color i mean i can go into this and pick up the color from the spot i just used it and put it over there and there's a lot of color so that's much more pigmented than the other brands that we've used. look uh, i just barely touched that you barely touched. put it, it over there yeah so that's that's a really nice thing i like those yes so all right so there's that now we'll try the ink tents alongside that that's probably a an you know a good comparison as far as now do these dry waterproof is that why they're ink instead of i there's some of them that are more water resistant but really i think you can still lift it pick it up yeah i don't think any of them are All right, make sure you write ink, you write ink tense. Good, good job. I'm not even gonna ask how to spell You've it. Been trained well. That's because it's on the side of the pencil. Mm, there you go. <laughs> cheat sheet. Now this is it's th these are stiffer. Mm-hmm. Um, they're they're not as soft as mm -mm. the um, magnums. Magnus. Magnus. What's a magnum? Think, oh. <laughs> think of. Sorry. Magnus, think of a big Irish guy. A or big Scottish, Scottish. <laughs> Magnus. I don't no, think you make it any name. better. <laughs> it's a name. Think of a big Irish guy with a magnum. Yeah. <laughs> Scottish. 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 It's technically a slam. Yeah, it's <laughs> Well, if you're going to, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I picked a color so similar, but. All right, let's see how intense this ink gets. Mm hmm Woo. Mm hmm Woo. The dry colors don't look anything like the wet colors Not to me. at all. No, no, no. So That's you really, a, yeah. you really, Need with, with these, these especially, yes, you definitely would want to color swatch these. Um, you will want to color swatch any of these because the dry to the wet's just not gonna. Uh, the Faber seemed pretty close, dry to wet, don't you think? Just not yeah. quite as bright. But the uh, the ink test, the ink tends to like sneak up on you. Yeah, they do. They are very crumbly though. Crumbly. All right, Amy, you're gonna have to get over it, <laughs> or we're gonna have a crummy time. <laughs> I'm gonna get you some cookies that aren't crumbly and say, here, these are your crummy cookies. And you're gonna think it means because they're crumbly and they're just crappy. It's happening. Thanks. All right, that's, look at, that's just very nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. So, yeah, it was all, all you, right? It was all me. Okay, all right, so then we're going to try these Bunzeal Design pencils and if you remember if you saw the colored pencil episode I loved their colored pencils they just didn't come in a large enough selection these come in in 48 48 okay it's watercolor pencils so you can mix colors in between sure. so that's not the problem that the colored pencils were and they've got these little drawers and I tuck them back in so we can get them snagged on anything and pull them out in transit and I will show you a my friend Tammy Rockefeller did a fun little llama sketch with them. They were really bright. We, we were in this public coffee house and we've got pencils laid out everywhere. And we both go, hey, when she went it down. And people were looking at us, we're like, what? It's watercolor pencil magic. We were a little caffeinated though. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. But it was, it was very impressive. Are these you, slightly thinner than regular pencils? Yes, yeah. and the color pencils were as well. And the, bad, These are no the bad other bad thing about them is that the color on the end, like this looks like a nice <coughs> grass green, is not the same color. Yeah. They that, don't, the dip colors just don't really match. The Even wet, they don't match. So, so just these are br Brunzeal? Brunzeal, yes. It's Dutch. And I've already misspelled it. <laughs> Come on, even I can spell it. Uh huh. Barely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these feel very. These are no magnums. These are stick thin. It almost feels a little waxier, doesn't it? A little wax. Yeah, yeah, waxier. 
but it's not as crumbly either, so. Oh, well, yeah, you can see like the color on yeah, the tip of that versus it's, the. It's somewhat disarming to me. It's like going to preschool, you just get the same color, huh? This is, I get paid for this. I know. This, I like this box because you can pull the no, that's little very levels convenient. out and, you know, have them out if you need them. And Let's see how they change. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? Does not work as well on hot press at all. Works, but it, but look, it picks up. Look how nice it picks up. as watercolor like immediately was picking up the kind of scribbles there, right? And blending. So on on, it would definitely be better on a a little bit of a textured paper. Cold press. Yeah, cold press, soft press. Raw. Okay. All, all right. right. So Brazil. then. We're going to try the Caran Dash Super Color Soft. Supra. Yes, not to be, you know, confused with, I guess, the hard maybe Super. they have, I don't know. Okay. But look, that's a very nice oh, color God. set. And if you, if you want, look at this. Oh. There's the reveal. Yeah. Ta-da. So you can use whatever. Then there's another layer, but I think we should find something. Supra Color Too Soft. Mm-hmm. These are not crummy at all. Mm -mm. Now you're just doing it to. It's, it's the word I use, Amy. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. Is that nice? Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yes? Wait, wait till we get to the, the museum ones. <sighs> Mm-hmm. All right. Oops. Nope. We need that it's otherwise. Not, we're... yeah. I love their, their packaging. The packaging, as you can tell, it's Swiss. Yes. They're efficient packaging. Big into the. It's right on time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. Wow. Okay, so the pinks from the other colors did not pick up a lot. There's clearly titanium in that, but look at it. <coughs> it's still incredibly vibrant. Mine kind of seem a little milky. Mm -hmm. You think it, it's the like Maybe the colors the, you pick? Uh, those look like more pastelish colors. Oh, this one doesn't. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's just the colors I picked. But really water soluble. Wow, look at that. Yeah. And it it keeps pulling more pigment. So you really with and that's the thing with a lot of these is people want to use them like colored pencils where they put down a whole bunch you and then they wet mm -hmm. it down and it turns into a big muddy mess. Mm -hmm. With with the lower quality brands that we started at, <coughs> you would probably have to do that with these. You know, because you can see, you know, it picks up some, but it's still sitting there. With these, it lifts almost everything. So right. you're 
that's good in that respect, but if that's not how you're used to working, yeah. maybe it's not the brand for you. That's true. All right, so now we're going to go to, let me pull this off. We're gonna to go to the, the Museum Aquarelle. Now okay, the, so if you get crumbs on your page and you brush them off and it leaves a mark and then you try to use water to get them up, yes. it's gonna... Yes, yep, see? Uh, yeah, you really, while it's still dry, when you're working on a watercolor pencil work, if you wet anything down, you're gonna to wanna to first take like maybe a soft goat hair brush and kind of brush any crumbs away first before wetting anything. Mm -hmm. Then do your wet work, let it completely dry before you go back in with any dry pencils. Then make sure you brush it again because any spots like this that are wet, pick that up mm -hmm. and they bloom everywhere. So okay. just something to, all right. Now these, these are pretty much just watercolors and I mean, it's, you'll see. I'll see. Oh yeah, very uh... These are the museum. Yes. These, uh, when when we were getting ready to get these in, I was in customer service, so this has been a while that we had them, but we had people calling constantly, begging, pleading, when are these coming in, when are these coming in? And it was uh, like, okay people, what the heck, you know? And then the first time I used them, I was like, okay, well, I understand why. These really feel nice in the, not necessarily applying it, but in the hand. They're like yes. a good size. Yes. No, they, I, yes. They're, they've kind of got the flatter edges, but it's like the Faber has it so that they don't roll. Right. But it's, it's still very soft. And the um, finish on the pencils, that like nice matte finish has a nice feel to it. And their color is pretty much, that's on the, the dipped end, is pretty much the color that you're going to get out of, a, out of a wet. Did you use a red? You didn't use a red. I used uh, no. Well, let me use something just... And they are a little dusty, but they're not as dusty as a lot of the other brands that we've used. Right. All right, let's see what happens here. Am I getting ahead? No, go ahead. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That, that is impressive. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very... Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, that's more impressive. But look on hot press. These other ones, I don't like the way the hot press looks. That looks It's not beautiful. streaky. No, not at all. All right, save that set for me after we're done. I heard it went missing already. Oh. Crap. Katie, quick. Hide, hide the museum. Yes. Aquarel. <clears throat> wow, look at just that little bit of water as I was splashing and rinsing it out, it was so concentrated, it was still in the brush. Oy. No, that's that's incredible. Always a good thing. <laughs> Sorry, my Yiddish is a little rusty. I'm schwitzing about the whole thing. <laughs> now, I tried this when we were when we were out working on stuff. I did it super light. That, that's just barely put on the paper because that paper's not super absorbent. It's more of a printmaking style paper. And it's not sized like really for watercolor, but that's right. just very lightly touching it, doing very light little stuff. And that when we put the water on, that just popped. Okay, now what? All right, so now we're gonna go into kind of more the sticks version, things like that. Let's use this one first because it's kind of watercolor pencil, but kind of a, a stick too. It's because it's kind of wet with something. It's probably splashes from oh. the. Oh, oh, that's fun! Look at that. Yeah, it's a, like a monolith. It doesn't have wood. It's woodless. Right. So now these, you know, could have been shown back in the other thing, but it's similar more to the sticks that we're going to be showing. So I just put it in here. It's it's going to be kind of back more in this range of. Probably the Derwent, I would imagine. They're, they're extremely pointy. They are. Like, I, I'm afraid I'm going to hurt myself. 
Oh, you're gonna Is it just pop the tip. Aquaman away. Oh jeez. Yeah it did. Yep, it's, you can't you can't lay him down without popping him. Once you pop you can't <laughs> stop. compared to the color I would assume it's going to be. Oh, it's Carmine. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it. I shouldn't be so entertained by that, but it's pretty funny. Oh, this doesn't look like the color on the barrel at all either. And I guess this is probably going to be like a lot more surprising color shift. Cause look, that doesn't. No, I'm I'm gonna be surprised. I'm just I'm gonna do this. Without... I, want to, I want to break it off the, the, the side for fear of the no oh, no safety glasses. I'm sure that's happened. Can you? Yeah. We popped the tips. All right. Here, let's get this out of the. Hey. What do you think? Eh. <laughs> I mean, I maybe just received a Mike G eh. rating. Our vendors are going to be so happy with me. <laughs> oh, look at that's not I expected that to be brighter. Now I'm sad. You see, you're eh too. I know, well, I'm sad. I, this, it's the sad eh. Yeah. Eh, isn't different. Sad is just like, oh. Aww. These are not as water soluble, maybe? No, uh uh. Not at all. Yeah. But the color but the color didn't look as bright as the handle either. Right. Putting it on, so it's not as not quite the is yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, for for what it is for journaling or something like that, that would be great because you've got all the pencil to be able to put on its side right. and turn, and if, if you don't areas. need it to be the, the light fastest and all that, it's not probably as big of a deal. Um, so, all right, onward and upward. Uh, let's do, let's do the dry sticks first, the Charvin dry sticks, let's, let's do that. And then we'll do the ink tense blocks, and then we'll venture into the crayons and such. That's pretty packaging. I know. There's, there's a lot. I mean, it's it's because it's a dry stick. It's good. You need the protective packaging. And there's another row right. underneath. So these these are more like if you're using them dry, almost like a, a hard pastel. But okay, with these, it's this is like a secret. Look, we had some return, and that's that's how I learned. I was like, we can't find it. You have to lift up. You can keep this in. Oh gosh, you took that. Okay, just lift this up. Ta-da! I like it. I know. Crouching you think they, they could put like a little? <laughs> you think they could put like a little tab there to make yeah. it a little more obvious? Okay. All right. Sharpen. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a little harder to write with this, isn't it? You can read that, right? Sharpen. Yeah. Oh well, they'll be able to read it in mine. Well, definitely don't have to apply a lot of pressure to get this. No, uh-uh. Wow, well, yeah. That's gonna be a, and the beauty of these is you can wet the paper first and then put it down, right? You can also wet the pastel and then yes. put it on the paper. There's a lot of options, Amy. Well, if you want, we can do the dry stick and then do that dip, dip okay. you do, if you want, just dip real dip quick, just to see. Yeah, because doing this is really crumbly. You definitely want to dust that off before yeah. you. <laughs> Poor Will's going to be. <laughs> oh, Will's done worse to his lungs. I know. Plus, he's tr still trying to work off the gold leafing, isn't he? Yeah. So. He's got to pay down that yeah. debt. <laughs> yep. He's just going to have to breathe some more pastel dust. Oh, wow, that's really. Deuce All right. Okay. All 
right, I like it. Yeah, and it looks very much like the color that you put down. The colors are very bright dry. They are. So, I mean, that's that's a good, a good thing. And you can really lift it off the paper to kind of smooth it. Yeah, I mean, the, these are really reasonably priced. So this is a great, you know, to be able to work with dry with pastels or wet like this, you know, this would be nice for mixed media. You could do yeah. drawing on top of things and then go from there. All right, so grab grab a stick and we'll wet them and just do it underneath. Uh, maybe the, the, like the same color? Ah, uh, sure. It's the same color. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna dip my stick. Dip stick. <laughs> yeah, that's more that. More like it. No, it doesn't stay wet. For, oh, there we go. It doesn't. It's not as dusty when it goes down. No. It's pretty intense. Yeah. Yeah. It's so sad when that happens. Yeah. Give it to me. I don't remember which other one <laughs> I used. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm Blue. I'm, I'm out. Well, you're out. <laughs> I'm gonna try this green because it wasn't as vibrant. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, that's look. That's much better. To so actually use it just straight up with the color. Yeah. That's oh, nice. it's like. Oh, it's sticky though. Now it's all over me. Going Ooh. down like a marker. Ooh, yeah. You. What did you? Would you slime yourself? Yeah. Sorry. I have a thing with dust. I can't believe I'm touching this. I know. You're having less of a problem than I am. What gives? See, now it's not just me. No, it's not just you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you went and did the... Uh, <laughs> it got gooey. I'm out on these. <laughs> uh. See? Yeah. It's, yeah. Exactly. Start feeling the dry and you know. I have the pink finger. <laughs> you do. Thank you. <laughs> Everything else is less icky than this. All right. Well, so let's try these. Oh, the ink tanks blocks next because they're kind of like a. Well, Block stick form, just like the Charvin. Woo! Oh, those are nice. They look like uh, little Conte crayons, almost, don't they? What are these? Just oh, it's ink tents, yeah, but in a in a stick. Mmm. Look, it came complete with a with a, what a painting hair. A painting <laughs> hair, yes. You can <laughs> fine detail work in a stick. Oh my gosh, they, oh, they, they're they are serious about protecting these, aren't they? Okay, Derwent. Intense. Stick. Well, oh, that's oh, yeah. not legible. Okay, these are not very crummy, crumbly. You used the word. I'm trying. I'm it's like watching the wild learn to walk. Let's not get crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a little harder to variate the pressure when they're. Oh, these are icky. Oh, this one's crummy. Did you use this one? No. <laughs> it's got a fingerprint. It's got a fingerprint. It does. Somebody in the. Somebody's used somebody's it. Somebody's been fingering our pastels. <laughs> It would have happened at the factory because this has been, uh, this was, we opened it up right before this. These are a lot drier. Um, yeah. Than, than the actual um, You can see how much they. came up on my Yeah, gloves. that's, okay, let's. Katie came in just in the nick of time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, look at now, I've got it all over yeah, me and now I'm sucker. not happy. This usually requires wine before. Amy. Well, adding the water, it really does. I mean, well, this is the same stuff that's in the regular ink tents. So. I, I want to say they probably put a little bit more clay or something in it because it's, oh, wow, though. 
Yeah. You yeah, see that? You're right. impressed? That's nice. Come on, don't, don't knock it till you try it. Look at that. Whoa. I'm gonna use the larger. Kill it. I want it. Well, yeah, that's pretty, uh, that picks up the color pretty nicely. I see, because I don't have textured paper, it was really hard for me to get that stick to lay down very easily. Oh, wow, look at that's like a quinacridone gold or something. Ooh. Well, I've got spot for one more. Yep. Well, you uh, just have to turn, turn the page. Bob Seeger. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, let's do the Stadler crayons, and then we'll go from there. Stadler crayons. These are definitely more like a kind of a basic one yeah. the kid set, the packaging kind All right, of well, I'm not even going to try to write something with that. So no. these are right, SC. Yeah, there you go. That's not bad to write with, actually. They're dry. This is, says crayon, but they're very dry. Yeah, they're not as uh, waxy. No. Mm -mm. And there's and look light to dark. It's not not a lot of difference with the hard with the hot press. Um, these are very pale. Well, so am I. This is true. I'll do a blue. You can do a blue job. No. That's weird. That's much waxier than the first one. All right. What do you think? Eh. It's not my favorite, but yeah. it's not my least favorite. It picks up relatively okay. Relatively okay. Wow, look at that's not, but there's not a lot of pigment because look, it just really disappeared out of your. Yep. See, it shows better on this, but this is also doesn't have the pockets for the pigment to go down into. Pockets of pigment. Mm-hmm. Like pirates of pencil. <laughs> the black You know what? For doing, for, yeah, for doing journaling and stuff like that. Those two might have had a lot of white in them too. Yeah. Um, for doing journaling and stuff like that, I mean, look at the yellow and blue. Are Those really are pretty vibrant. bright, yeah. So, I mean, for for just doing color where you're wanting to do some washes and cover large areas, you know, that they're a very inexpensive option. I need that palette knife. So, oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to, we'll be right back as I remove my paper. Oh. Oh, sh All right, let's do the, okay, you want to do that first? I don't know. It was just, it was do the, first... the Mungio ones first, because they're th those are a little bit more. Okay, so these are yellow and these are white. Okay, yes, these Pearl. are. okay. Okay, this is the, the, those are the, does it say on the front that those are the? Uh... Yeah, pro. Oh, okay. Wow, that's really small. That should be much larger on the packaging. Well, tell. you know something? I, yeah. I'm just disappointing everybody. <laughs> Oh, this All right. Like a... So, so yes. Let's do the pearl. We'll do the, do them kind of like one under the other, so you can kind of see the difference. All right. Let's. That this is, is like regular. butter. Mungyo. It's like it's like lipstick. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like it doesn't. I like the way it feels going down. Mm-hmm. Shiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are nice. All right, so we'll switch. Color 
where should be is that. That actually stays pretty metallic. Mm -hmm. Color should you use. All right, let's pick some other colors here. These are really nice. Mm -hmm. They're very inexpensive too. All right, put like, these aside for me. Yeah, yeah. Getting the oil pastel stuff in the ones I use for regular watercolor pencil. Yeah, see they wet really nice. Mm -hmm. and the the Go ahead and do the uh, do the traditional colors now under it. You did the pearl ones above it. Now on the hot press, this requires a little bit of kind of pressure to lift the color because it's just sitting on there. Where yours really worked down nice into the uh nicely into the texture oh i lost my head you are just i did that too. <laughs> like <laughs> that was uh. in there bent <laughs> oh yeah you can see the sheen in those wow impressive right yeah Um, the the pearl ones actually kind of work a little better on this hot press. The pearl ones work a little better. They probably have a little bit more uh, like a silky or binder or something maybe to keep that pearl shine, you know? Mm-hmm. Give it the depth. Yeah. I, I, I like that. You could put a nice color ground down. For, that would be nice to use under like a regular traditional oil pastel to get a nice smooth ground, but it'd be kind of the same material. Yeah. Then go back over it with the... Hmm. I like the pearl ones, that's nice. It's Eastery. Well, some people. Eastery colors. <laughs> Non-lifting <laughs> colors. Yeah, they're, they're oil pastels, that's not gonna... Yeah. All right. We'll That's okay. Well, you can, you've got a whole other side to work on. All right. Multidimensional. That's oh, you. I missed. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Sports. All right. Sports. Go sports. <laughs> All right. These are Marabou's Mixed Media Art Crayons. <gasps> so they're very similar to kind of an oil pastel and how it works, but they can be wet down and produce really vibrant color. And these are very lipsticky. Now we've got a. Oh no! Ones. Are they covered in plastic? Yeah, you can you can do it. You can do it. Okay. Oh, you just snap. You just yeah. twist. <laughs> it's stuck to the glove. <laughs> Here, let's just. Oh, Look how lipsticky it is. Mm-hmm. Lipstick. It's very much like yeah. Whoa. Now. All right. Away. Art crayon. Ooh, that is buttery. Mm-hmm. Is that not silky satin? And they've that got, oh wow, that really soaks into the, look how nice that goes down into the yeah. texture of the paper, wow. If you guys aren't using this, you're missing out. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's nice. Um, oh, wow, I, it's like I feel like it, would be wasteful to use on the hot press because it just, I mean, let's see how light I can make it. Mm. These by far have gone down the smoothest, but. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't even have you barely you don't even have to press. You just kind of rub it on there. It's the same with the water. Wow, that's nice. Is that nice? Oh jeez, yeah, you don't even just barely. It almost jumps up to the brush. Look at that! I know. Now 
I barely applied any because I felt like it was being wasteful with the top press. Can I, can I that mix top. my yellow with the green? Sure. Or the blue? Knock yourself out. Yellow with the green. Can I mix my yellow with blue? the green to make blue? <laughs> That's the way the force works. Sure. Wow. Look at that. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So, yes, so those, that's giving you some other options to be able to put something dry down to bring color out. Now we're going to look at the Neo Color, the Caran d'Ache Neo Color. Now, these are a wax water soluble crayon that you can also use as well with like encaustics and things like that. Oh. Because okay. it's a wax, wax base. base. So we can do, this is their beautiful packaging again where it has this, a nice solid tin under it. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, tuck that away. Look, look at all the colors though that they have. I yeah. mean, they've got, this is Eight. a lot of crazy colors. It's like a little overwhelming. Neo Let's see what this looks like. All right, so this is firmer, but it still glides pretty well. Yeah, it does. It's not very crummy, crumbly. It's like training a Jedi. Like training a Jedi? Sure. <laughs> I knew that, see, you're listening, because I said Jedi. <laughs> Repetition, right? Use the force. Yes. You'll be able to say crumbly by the end of the episode. Wow, it's 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 smooth, but it, it like grabs a little bit more than the oil pastels, doesn't it? But with the wax, you can feel the wax in it. So that's really concentrated mm -hmm. for a wax crayon. Absolutely. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look what it does on the hot press. Okay, you always outdo me with your just, hot press. Well, no, but it's, that's. I can't compete with your hot press. Uh -huh. Wow, those are really nice colors. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's an option. I, I included that because although it's not a watercolor pencil, Per se, it is a dry media that then you can wet and it produces, you know, just as nice of a color. And it's Karen Dash, <coughs> and they're very worried about light fastness, which, you know, the museum ones have the light fastness on the pencils and all that. So now we're going to the straight <laughs> stick. This is just watercolor and a stick. We've got Windsor Newton and their watercolor sticks. So there's got to be a little wax in them. No? I don't know. You don't know? Let's find we'll out. We'll see. And then we've got the um, the Daniel Smith watercolor sticks in these great little holders. I mean, you have to buy the holders separate, but look how cool that is where you can just... And you can detach them from each other, so if you want to keep them just individually mm -hmm. in there so they don't keep some... You so want they to don't completely lose them in your bag. But I mean, that looks like an oil pastel almost, you know? Yeah. Or an oil crayon. Windsor Newton. Mm -hmm. Watercolor <laughs> dick. What are you doing? It's really hard to get out of the foam. It's it's very it is waxy, isn't it? Yeah. It's like very waxy feeling. The Karen Dash didn't feel as waxy as this does. And when you go back over the color, it feels even waxier. Yeah. That's surprising. I would not have. But it's almost like a hard wax. What other colors did you use? I don't want to. Okay. Amy. I don't have fingernails. Neither do I. Well, then you've got the gloves to make it probably harder. Does it jump? It's this this blue will be a good indicator. No, I think you used that one. Let's do the other one. Yeah, the blue. Oh, that's nice. 
Hmm. Oh, this is green. I did not expect that. This must be a phthalo green. I bet that's a phthalo blue. It looks very phthalo. These don't look very nice. <laughs> These don't look very good dry. Mm hmm I don't like that. That doesn't This must be like a cobalt blue. That's kind of well, it's it's weak, but I, I don't have any texture in the paper to hold the pigment, so it's not gonna be as concentrated. How do you what do you, how do you feel about these? Um they were they were okay. I don't know if I would personally use a, a watercolor stick where you know mm -hmm. I could just as easily use a pan. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess I guess the beauty of that is you could use it like a stick, or you could actually wet the stick with a brush. Yeah, and then paint with it, depending. Um, so, all right. So that's the Windsor Newton. Let's try these. So these are the Daniel this, Smith. These are the Daniel Smith. Just to see what the you know if how they feel these do not feel good it's it's mine has like weird like extruded edges that are uneven yeah so is it is it possible this has got like a wax covering i don't know it? all right this is not going down yeah it does feel like there's like an oil pass like an oil bar i don't know Oh, it goes down easier than the Windsor Newton for me on this paper, but it's a little more crumbly. Not me. This has got a lot of drag. I don't have any texture, but look, I'm having problems getting it to even lay down. With You're having big problems. I am. Trouble right here in River City. See that? I don't like musicals, and I threw that in for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you use this one? No. It looks like somebody took a bite out of it. <laughs> Thought you were getting hungry over there. Shh, don't tell people I'm eating them. Okay, well, adding water to these definitely makes a oh, difference. Oh, holy moly. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. I that's, didn't know uh, I had it in it. That's that is a really, deep yeah. violet. Yeah, dry, very not. <laughs> It's concentrating enough that a little bit of <laughs> thank you. Cool. A little bit of water in my hands is. Oh wow. Okay, that's beautiful. Redemption. Well, look how much more concentrated that is than the Windsor Newton. That is redemption. For I mean, look, you can barely see it on my hot press, and that's yeah. Total redemption. I wonder. Uh, you know what? How do those do if we if we use them wet, dip them in? There's only let's one try. way to find out. Let's, let's try it just underneath, just just to see if that lights it up at all. Oh, yeah. It, it doesn't stay that long. No, it doesn't seem like any of them do, does it? Well, they're not designed. Probably should have done that under there, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah. On the hot press, it, it, it kind of floats the water a little bit better. Oh, wow. All right, you got a lot of noises yeah. going on over there. Well, it's just, that's pretty, it's a pretty cool handle. Right. I am impressed by their permanent laser and crimson. It's a nice color. Mm, yeah, that's good. We'll stick with it. I feel so sorry for she's probably I'm like mm, making sounds like under it. <laughs> she's like, what is she doing with this? It's the most delicious Poor Jamie. Ever. She's like, she's she's a little scary. I like that. Okay, so that's the you know straight up just watercolor in a stick form. Okay. Um, from both of those manufacturers, so that you can use them for drawing. You can wet them, obviously, especially with a brush. I think those would light up very easily. Just. Mm -hmm. Being wet with a brush, I think with the Windsor Newton, you'd probably have to scrub it a little. Okay. So okay, so these are these are all of pretty much all the brands that we carry. Okay. So then, in in doing this and thinking, 
so many people are doing mixed media lately and trying to look at new mediums to incorporate, especially ones that are solvent free, because mm -hmm. a lot of people are on that kind of health kick. How could you take this and actually go and make archival art mm -hmm. with it without just it always having to be on paper, it always having to be framed behind glass? Right. There are watercolor mediums that for grounds that you can put on whatever you want, which to me is a really cool revolutionary thing that you're putting something, you're taking it something that's a substrate that's not absorbent at all. You're putting a ground on it and then you're suddenly making it absorbent mm -hmm. to be able to work with water media. So, um, and the color choices are quite amazing. This is a um, just golden's ground this is on an ampersand panel which i did this because that's so dark just to see what would happen and i actually coated it with uh clear gesso first so that it would be absorbent and stick to it but so it i could see how many coats this is really realistically going to take to cover this if you want it opaque that's four coats with a brush and i did not brush it on very thick at all that's golden's absorbent ground Um, so you can make it have texture. You could use a foam brush if you wanted to roll it on and make it, you know, obviously I didn't do that because it was like, that would really waste a lot of medium right. putting it on like that. So, but you can see, I'm going to take your gloves off for this. So there's not the transfer, but you can see it's still a little damp because I put the last coat on last night, but that's, you can tell that that's more of like an absorbent right. kind of a, a surface. Um, then Daniel Smith makes a transparent ground. Now this is a canvas that we did with our stretch canvas episode that I put clear gesso on, right? So there's three coats of clear gesso and then I put three coats of the, of the transparent watercolor ground on. So now that can have watercolor, watercolor pencils, any of these wax and it's crayons. Flexible. And it's flexible. So then you've got the ability to actually have a stretched canvas. For watercolor. But the, you could put anything under this, you know, you could put colored gesso under it, then put that transparent ground over it, and then still be able to do water media on right. it. So that's like opening you up to almost like a no limits kind of a, a thing. So look at all these different, there's black, there's a buff titanium, there's gold. Put these, oh, juggling. Put these up. You see, you you were started the day juggling, and now you're still going. <laughs> There's a cold pressed ground. There is just a titanium white one. Then Coors got um, a light dimensional ground. Coors light. <laughs> yeah, yes. Coors light dimensional ground. Yeah. Pearlescent white. The, just so many options. Look, here's the titanium buff. That's that's three coats of titanium buff. There's a lot to focus on, Will. That's that's just uh, that's one of our um, Da Vinci um, medium textured pro panels. Mm -hmm. This is on a Lumicomp. A Lumicomp. So you can be doing watercolors on a Lumicomp. That is a black watercolor ground. Will watercolor show up on black? You could use, there's interference and pearlescent and oh. duochrome watercolors, especially Daniel Smith's line has all sorts of like really crazy custom colors that would totally pop on that. Okay. Pearlescent ground, three coats. Oh, that's pretty. On the white, on the, the same panel, right? The Da Vinci medium ground panel. Then there's a gold one that's three coats. Mm. Now these, I would probably put two more coats on each just to, and probably the last two I would do with a foam roller. So it would be nice and smooth, but I brushed them on just to see how brushable it was. This looks like papyrus. Isn't it? It's just, it's very nice. And then here is your cold pressed Ooh, ground that's... just with a brush. I wanted to make it, see if I could make a rough press that is because rough. I wanted to see how some of these watercolor pencils would handle on that. So with, with, you've already seen on the Facebook show, the artwork that's going to be on these, but mm -hmm. then they'll be able to actually see in 4k what these looked like before it started. Right. Um, and then this is the light dimensional ground. With that, we tried, you can get some crazy texture with it, but just trying to use a stick media wasn't, that wasn't going to be. Okay. So that's, that takes all these and gives them whole new, like, 
meaning. It's like a brave new world. Yeah, it's like a brave new world. Type of thing for what should just, you know, normally everybody's going to think of just, oh, cow, it's just, we only can use that on watercolor paper. Oh, no. Need to go get crazy with it. Let's go crazy. Yeah. Okay. So, so what did you think overall about the watercolor pencils? What I what was your favorite? My f so the the Daniel Smith watercolor stick definitely impressed me yeah. very much with its vibrancy. The art crayons and the Mungyo were definitely the smoothest, mm -hmm. and uh, they blended well. Mm -hmm. But I'm still I'm sticking by um, the Faber. What was the Magnum one? Oh yeah, you liked the Magnum. I like that one. I like that one. I like the ink tents. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That really gave with with the. Um, I was very curious about what the difference was between the regular Derwent and the ink tents. So this is the regular Derwent, right? They, I mean, they look good. They're they're bright. <laughs> look at the ink tents by comparison. In these. Look at the yeah. That's just a huge, a huge difference. It's just deeper truer, more vibrant, just very, which is not the, you know, not everybody with watercolor, a lot of people like that kind of light, airy, kind of ethereal quality that's known more with watercolor versus acrylics or oils, right? But this is like. This is the password to, to get into Dumbledore's office. <laughs> Sherbet lemon. Sherbet lemon. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so you really like more the bold, the bright mm -hmm. with all of these. I. I tend to agree. It's, you know, go big or go home. No, I like that. So. Yeah. So, that's good. So we've learned a little bit about that. We've learned a little bit about some of the possibilities. We've learned that they can be messy. Yes. And. Uh, I think we've taken yeah, up enough we, of their yeah. evening. Yeah. Maybe they want to get to their tacos. Well, you do at least. So, yeah. <laughs> we would love to stay in chat, but as you know, it is taco night, so we must be on our way. We thank you for joining us. You can follow Amy Gardner Dean on Instagram and Facebook. I'll mm -hmm. leave a second so that we can put those plugs up there. Mm -hmm. And you can follow me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry because it's still a problem. It, it makes it easier to it find you. It makes it easier, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and uh, you want to hug it out? Yes. All right. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. I made a creepy face at the end. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. Because that's how you do things. <laughs>